I don't know why YouTube hates me sometimes, or it's people that just don't like my commentary, but I have to tell you guys something. Uh, I did a live stream earlier where I talked about Ava, Chris Tyson, and Mr. Beast, right? And that video has been restricted, age restricted to be exact. So guess what? I'm going to do another one and talk about this whole situation and break it down a little bit more. Now, let me just say this. When I go live and I talk about YouTubers or talk about, you know, certain things and give commentary commentary to certain things, I'm just giving my opinion. Of course, I would ask that you guys go look up the information on your own. Go look it up. Get informed. Get involved. You know, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, get informed about the information, right? So Rolling Stones just dropped an article a couple hours ago. We got to talk about it because I find it so interesting that like somebody that R Rolling Stones who, you know, they do a lot of commentary and they love hit pieces on people and they do hit pieces on people. But it's weird the tone that they're kind of giving about the Ava Chris Tyson allegations. But let's get into it. Now, of course, allegations are allegations. Mr. Beast recently yes, hit the like button. Mr. Beast recently made a statement on his Twitter account where, you know, he's basically saying that he is hiring an independent investigator to figure these allegations out and whatnot. For those that did not get to read it, I'll show it to you guys very quickly right over here. He says, over the past few days, I've become aware of serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure that I have all the facts. That said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, my associations with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further action based on their findings. Now, this was dropped yesterday at about, you know, eight-ish or whatever. For those that have not seen it, that's what it is. We went over it earlier today. But like I said, YouTube is censoring this topic, so I'm going to do my best to be very careful about, you know, the words that I say, bleep, whatever it have to do, okay, because it's age restricted. And um, anytime YouTube does that, I feel like it's even more important to continue to talk about this and push the information out there. The inside story of the grooming allegations against Ava Chris Tyson. The former Mr. Beast associate has been accused of sending inappropriate messages to minors. But according to the individual and those who worked with them, nothing untoward happened. On Tuesday, Ava Chris Tyson announced on X that she would permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media. The longtime collaborator and childhood friend of Jimmy Donaldson, the man behind the 300 million subscriber YouTube kingdom, with its own line of Walmart sold chocolates and videos that pull in hundreds of millions of views. Apologize for any past behavior or comment if it hurt or offended anyone. Donaldson issued his own ex statement on Wednesday night saying he's aware of serious allegations and has taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and associations. We just read that whole little speech, okay? He also stated that he would be launching an independent investigation into Tyson's actions. Now, what was so interesting, somebody in the comments said, Rabbit, the reason why he's launching an independent investigation is because, you know, if anything, like if he was terminated or let go falsely or whatever, you know, it's likely that Ava can come back and sue or, you know, that being the thing. But I'm like, well, you would think that, you know, if there were concerns about his behavior and Mr. Beast is trying to uphold a certain level of his branding, like how you behave on social media could impact your work, right? It's like anything else. So it would make sense, I think. But I think that an independent investigation is also smart, given that if he used, you know, his influence as somebody in the company on social media, and he was using that to, you know, bring in people, groom people, whatever it may be, um, he should be careful, right? And that would make sense. Like you want to assess the risk. So it makes sense to have a third party person 
you know, investigating, assessing the risk. That's basically it, right? The apologies came in in the wake of a flood of new and revisited allegations looking into the 28-year-old's behavior in social media over the past decade. Tyson is a trans woman and has been the target of anti-LGBTQ plus harassment since her transition in 2023. Um, I could see this being an issue as well. And like I said, I we have to be able, in my opinion, to be separating her transition from these allegations. Like we... We're muddying the waters here with this, in my opinion, right? And um, I don't know if, like, some of this has to do with that. And I truly hope that that's not the case. So this is why I think an independent investigation makes sense. Recently, videos have claimed that starting in 2016, Tyson, who was 20 at the time, had been interacting online and exchanging messages that included content as content with the username lava gs since they were 13 years old lava who is now 20 who is now a 20 year old editor also took a job with mr beast ah and visited the beast compound so lava took a job with mr beast now it's starting to make sense why he made that speech y'all i'm reacting to this in real time now it's starting to make sense this is why he has to investigate independently. So he had both of them working together and these allegations came out. Yeah, he has to protect his company. Okay. Now it's starting to make sense. I get it. Lava, who is now 20 years old, a 20 year old editor, also took a job with Mr. Beast and visited the Beast compound. Some online have left have felt Lava was groomed because of her interactions. Neither Donaldson or Tyson returned a request for comment before publication. Okay. In a series of follow-up tweets, Tyson shared that they never groomed anyone, specifically mentioned Lava. In the past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable, Tyson wrote. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Lava backed up this up by tweeting, I'm not a victim. Nothing bad happened between me and Chris. People are creating lies around my name. Oh, okay. So the person that they are alleging is, you know, um, behind the, the, you know, the, this alleged grooming is also stating that nothing happened, right? Like she's also not saying that, you know, the person is not saying that they are victims of anything of Chris or anybody. And I think it's important to put that out there too. Lava, um, this is the tweet and this is what they said. I'm not a victim and I am not backpedaling any statements I have already made. Everything I have stated is still true. Nothing bad happened between me and Chris. People are creating lies around my name. Yesterday, while under a lot of stress from trying to get my story out as quickly as possible, I made a mistake and included two videos in a tweet that had nothing to do with my situation. Okay, here are the correct videos and these are and these ones should be taken down. I apologize to the creator of the original video in the first screenshot. Okay. So these are Lava saying these. And let me follow Lava. Lava saying these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? The situation takes this situation takes away from children who have actively been exploited every day online. I'm not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. Whoa. So the person that they are alleging is a victim of this is saying I am not a victim of this. Yeah, that's not good. So I can understand why um, Mr. Beast felt like there needed to be an independent investigation um, outside of YouTube commentators and everything. Yeah, I, I get that. But this is interesting. And if Lava is the one that's the name, unless there's other people, y'all let me know in the chat, unless there's other people, why is Lava being named as... A victim if if lava saying i'm not a victim and they said it in their twitter 
Okay. So in an interview with Rolling Stones, Lava said he believed that the two creators who originally made videos on the subject twisted his story and misrepresented him in order to push their agenda. Rolling Stones also spoke with those two creators who deny any wrongdoing, believing that Tyson's actions needed to come to light at any cost. Well, that is interesting. Now, I'm going to ask you guys in the chat, y'all believe that this needed to come to light? regardless like it needed to be exposed do you guys feel like there's probably other people or is this just targeted like hate towards ava chris tyson Th see this is where i feel like mr beast is in a predicament here and he does like it's a company he's gonna have to investigate and he has to take action anything involving children especially because his audience caters to a younger audience let me know your thoughts in the comments about that. But it further says, Lava has been a fan of Mr. Bean since Mr. Beast since the early days of the channel, posting a screenshot of the channel's 50,000 subscriber count on Twitter in 2016 and earning Mr. Beast signed butterfly knife, butterfly knife for being a top donor with just $20. That contest earned him a Twitter follow from both Donaldson and Tyson around that time. Tyson's social media persona was edgy. In 2017, she posted image images online and on her wall appearing in the Mr. Beast video of or drawn out child. Okay, and like I said, I, I have to mute myself in some of these things because I can't say them because I'll get blocked again. Um, age restricted from controversial internet artists. Shadman? Shadman? Oh, and there was a video about this too. Tyson has never directly responded to these allegations. As a 13-year-old, Lava had been tinkering with the newly released messaging app Discord, learning how to make these servers and bots. Chris reached out to me and saw I was making Discords for people. Lava says he was new to it and wanted a bot that could play lo-fi study music, which isn't hard to do. Using what he knew, Lava built Tyson, a Discord server for close friends, and he just ended up staying in and running it. Lava says, according to Lava, Tyson did not pay for the creation or maintenance, maintenance of the server, and he did it solely for the fun of it and helping build a community of fans community for fans of Mr. Beast and Chris. Lava claims that Tyson was unaware of his age until 2018, though couldn't remember that specific detail on how it came up. In 2018 and 2019, the pair would play games and communicate in a communicate in private on Discord. They would also talk publicly on X, formerly known as Twitter. Lava would call Tyson big boy, dad, and sexy. And at one point asked her to be his YouTube Valentine. In one reply, Lava asked Tyson about her H addiction, referring to the drawn anime prawn. And in another shared an image of Tyson's computer from her social media with the caption, this is a bad way to hide your H. Oh, okay. Though Tyson side of these conversations have been completely completely deleted about two dozens of lava's messages remain up on x well okay ava like why were your messages deleted i do kind of have to wonder that in one interaction tyson tweeted an image of her patreon and said that if she could get one more sign up she would be releasing my n-o-o-d-s all right not gonna say it out loud or just have to be careful what I say here. Lava replied with, I'm your Patreon's big boy. And Tyson responded with, I post some fire and OODS for you. Please no share. And no nudes were shared. In a Discord server gaming for YouTube, The Do, Lava posted an image from Tyson's group chat of her in front of the American flag with the caption, Ooh, C-U-M-M-I-N-G for America. To others, these conversations look inappropriate. Yeah, I would say so, Lava. I would say that they do look inappropriate. And like I said, this is why I feel like Mr. Beast is in the right to investigate, to respond to some of this. Like, they do look inappropriate. I'm just reading this. It's inappropriate. 
Okay. It says, I was at the age where I spoke to all my friends like that. Lava says, there was nothing more than that. It's how bros talk. I saw Chris as an older brother. Okay. This was before the transition because he reminded me a lot of my older brother. And this is like a screenshot of what, um, I guess Twitter looked like. This is Lava who says, when I was 16, I asked Mr. Beast, how hard do you want it? How hard do you want it, Jimmy? 68 million people have seen it. Okay. In May 2020, Lava says Tyson helped me land a job as a production assistant on Beast Gaming. Lava was a moderator on the channel's Discord and Reddit, sometimes appearing in videos or helping out behind the scenes. That July, Lava visited Mr. Beast's compound in North Carolina, posted a picture with Tyson McDon Tyson Donaldson, as well as Trey Yates, who edited for Mr. Beast from 2018 to 2021 and was the one who hired Lava. Lava tells Rolling Stone. Lava tells Rolling Stones that he and his parents would stay at a campground every year, which wasn't far from the compound, and that his parents joined him on the visit. Yates, who was also the one who hired Lava at Beast Gaming, shared his side of the story with Rolling Stones. He came to visit because he knew Ava from playing games online. Yates says, Ava wanted Lava to work for Mr. Beast's gaming channel, and we were happy to bring him on and pay him. On the grooming allegations, Yates saw that saw the way Lava and Tyson interacted and didn't think it was strange or out of the ordinary. There was never any hint or indication that something like that was happening or even, albeit blank blatant proof that something like that was occurring he says lava stopped working for beast gaming in may 2021 though he and tyson remain in contact in july of 2023 tyson came out as trans which caused a flurry of conversation on the right oh on the right leaning creator who had thought about Tyson happened to be Prism42, a YouTuber with 800 subscribers who had found the messages between Lava and Tyson on 4chan, though it's unclear how they ended up there. Well, that's, <laughs> I'm sure people can find out how messages end up on 4chan. Mm. Prism felt he needed to get his information out. He needed to get this information out. He claimed he contacted 50 creators. Well, he didn't contact me. I was not one of them, but hey, who am I? I'm just a little, little creator over here. But he says um, he contacted 50 creators, including Turning Points USA CEO Charlie Kurt, former To Catch a Predator host Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen was contacted? Oh, my God. And a YouTube documentarian, Mike Ch is it Clum? and a YouTube documentarian, Mike, there was also EP EDP 445, a creator who in 2021 was caught in a YouTube vigilante sting operation, messaging a fake 13 year old. So Mike is currently making a documentary about that. That's interesting. I'm telling you reading, I'm, I'm in a whole different sector of this. So I'm new to a lot of this stuff. But if y'all can educate me just how these people get down, that'd be awesome. Prism began to message me directly with a vague detail about an unnamed creator who will be exposed. He wanted to see if I could help him. Mike tells Rolling Stones, given the nature of the accusations, I said I would take a look if he sent them to me. He began to send more information about Ava Tyson and what seems to be generally available screenshots or details that weren't actionable given to the work that I do. But I mean, like Prism, why didn't you just, you could have just exposed him yourself and Prism did do a video. So I'm like, why did you need other creators? Sometimes I get the like if you're exposing people and it's something really salacious i do get the sense that like people get i've been sent stuff about other people and you know you have a right to decide whether you're going to touch it or not sometimes it just depends you know and then if it's lawsuit something like you have to you have to be mindful of that you know keep that in mind i mean be mindful of that when none of those reached out reach outs gained traction prism took another approach in an interview on the chud logic podcast he said he wanted to emulate the undercover work of disgrace journalist james o'keefe of project veritas 
who in February settled a lawsuit over fake claims of 2020 voter fraud. In June 2023, Prism reached out to Lava in a message seen by Rolling Stone, pretending to have pretending to want to interview an anime fan. And that it would be and that it would be interesting because you work on the Mr. Beast server. Lava did not answer the message. So, ooh, this is getting like this breakdown is getting interesting, okay? For his next attempt, Prism contacted YouTuber Veritas, is that how you say that? An 18-year-old with 600 subscribers and had him reach out to Lava looking to interview him for an editor position. Veritas tells Rolling Stone that he had no idea that he was being set up or that Lava had anything to do with Tyson or Mr. Beast. He was just looking for an editor. During that interview, Lava says the conversation started with the editing question, but quickly devolved into a conversation about internet predators. Prism asked Lava to comment on a video from EP, EDP445 talking about Tyson. Um, on June 13th, Vertidus and Prison each released their own video about t the Tyson messages, though neither included information from Lava's interview with them. Huh. Prism repeatedly misgendered Tyson and included multiple factual inaccuracies, including claims that the moment he was able to drive, Lava drove himself to the Beast compound, and that the, com the coming photo, C-U-M-M-I-N, G photo was sent personally to Lava on Snapchat. And when Lava claimed it was a group message, when Lava claimed it was a group message, when reached out for comment, Prism calling Rolling Stones fake news and hung up. Now, Prism, you're going to have to respond to this bullshit right here. How you going? Like, and I'm not saying, like, I, I do side eye Rolling Stones, don't get me wrong. But you're going to have to respond to this. Like, they're reaching out to you for a comment. You call them fake news and you hung up? Really? Both videos went relatively unnoticed until July 18th when YouTuber commentator Aatrox released a video aggregating the claims that became al algorithmic catnip. <laughs> uh, that's the first time I've ever heard algorithmic catnip. Currently sitting at over 1 million views. From there, dozens of creators picked up the story with the largest being from, from Penguins, I like Penguins, which is sitting at over 7 million views. I know, like those <laughs> big views, big views. Prison purposely left out context and did not make, did not ask me sp about specific situations, Lava said. There was nothing bad that happened at all. And if I would have told him that I would have basically invalidated his whole argument, which is why he never asked me the question. On social media, Prison's claim that Tyson talked inappropriately to a 13-year-old gained viral traction. Anti-LGBTQ plus activists like Tristan Tate, his brother Andrew Tate, and Lips of TikTok have used this story as an excuse to push an anti-trans rhetoric. The comment section under Lava's original tweet denouncing the claim is full of comments saying that he was groomed and is a gay victim. Oh, wow. And then this is Hassan who says nothing but pure, unadulterated, transphobic transphobia in the replies here. We hold Ava responsible for her absolute disgusting actions without needing to degrade the trans community. Ooh, Okay. In the podcast, The Chud Logic, Prism says, I don't believe men can become women with modern technology, but that's not a point that I'm going to make because it is separate from the allegations. Well, Prism, I hope that that's what it is. Like, can we, like, this, it, this is the piece that really upsets me and makes me sad. And I hope that that's not the case. And Rolling Stones, I hope you're also not writing a narrative here to push to say that this is what this is about. Because if, if Prism is saying it's not about this, then can we like be careful? And this is just my opinion. Y'all are entitled to your opinion. I just hate the the bashing, like that that's too much. And I'm not saying that like, like we just have to be mindful of things like this because hate generates hate. And it's just, it, it's online. 
everybody's behind a computer. Anyways, in an interview with Rolling Stones, Veritas said he tried to keep his coverage unbiased, but posts on Tyson's private Twitter of her son in heels. And that the fact that she would follow the Church of Satan may have made him a little bit biased. Well, you know, people that say that they're unbiased mm -hmm. typically are very biased. <laughs> it's hard, you know, but it does happen. For those with experience with Tyson, these serious claims seem to be getting co-opt. All of this is just your typical alt-right influencers trying to push something against trans people because they think they have something, says Yates. Lava no longer wishes to be involved with Tyson, though they haven't worked together in years, but still believes I'm not a victim. I do not appreciate the transphobic transphobic comments being attached to my name. I have my own personal beliefs about the situation as everyone should, Lava says. I believe attacking someone while using my name is completely uncalled for. And I have a feeling, you know, I'm gonna put this video out and edit as quickly as I can, but I have a feeling that it's not gonna get pushed in the algorithm, you know, because this is not the narrative that folks want to hear. Now, I think that if Lava say, Listen, y'all are making me out. You guys are putting words in my mouth. We need to be respectful. I don't know Lava. I don't know some of these creators, but looking at it as an outsider, that's what it seems like to me. Now, if there are other people that have been impacted and affected by this whole situation, then by all means, come out and talk about it and do what you got to do. But like everybody got to be careful. And it seems like such a heated time to put things out, at least in my opinion. Now, I could be wrong. But you know what? I appreciate your opinion. Y'all let me know your opinions in the comments. Okay. And hit the like button because they're trying to censor us from talking about this. And I don't know why. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out. Bye guys.